And we've got different packages depending on your budget. Excellent. Come and join right. Yes. Come on. So we've got different packages depending on your budget. So someone can come up with an objection. Cool. <laughs> Somebody, and this doesn't have to be an objection to radio advertising, there are many. <laughs> it's an objection that you hear maybe every day in your... You spent all my budget for advertising. You spent all budget, fantastic. So if you can come and join, I don't know that many. Rachel's here. Excellent. And how are we going to respond? Okay, so how are we going to respond? With new credit terms. Come on, girls against boys. What are your credit terms? With new credit terms. Okay, yeah, you can come and join Ryan's team. Well done, Ryan. Okay, so now. Now we've got an interesting situation. Boys and girls. Because, yeah, it's boys and girls. Yeah. But also, we've got three responses to one buying signal and one objection. So, if you can pick up the rope there. And what I'd like to see is you guys just pull a little bit. And you can resist a little bit, but don't resist too much. We don't want to see any energy. Okay? So, pull, guys. Come on. Okay? So your objection was? Uh, we spent our budget. We spent our budget. Can we just change that a little bit to, it's too expensive, would that be all right? Yes. Is that okay? Okay, so now I'd like you guys to give me a um, reason why it might be too expensive. Does that make sense? It doesn't make sense. Plus, well, yeah. So I was going to say, compared to what? Compared to what? Compared to what we spend normally, that's too expensive. So if you guys can give me another one. We got to 10 in West Sussex. We can buy it cheaper. We can buy it cheaper, yeah. Something else? Yeah, I'm really justified. Yeah. Oh, why not? <coughs> okay, I don't understand the value of what you're offering. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's three. What makes you believe it's expensive? What makes you believe it's expensive? That's a good one. What are the benefits? What are the benefits? So I don't understand the benefits. What about, I actually have to go and present this to my boss, and that's too much money. I'm not going to talk to him about that too much money, so I don't actually have the authority. So that's six. I'm <laughs> very happy with who we're using. You're very happy with the supply that you're using currently. Okay. West Sussex had 10. <laughs> Do we remember what West Sussex came up with? You don't think it would work for you, no, so it's just totally inappropriate. Okay, so that's eight. West Sussex had 10. <laughs> wasting my time. Wasting your time. Get out. Ryan. <laughs> Get out. So, the point is this. The point is that there were 10 things that we might have been told when we were told it was too expensive. More. Oh, no. <laughs> so, 
It could have been one of ten things. And if we just rushed in to respond, then the likelihood is we were just guessing. So we may have got it wrong. So the response to every, every objection you ever hear in the future needs to be, what exactly is it that you mean by that? Do you see what I'm saying? So, for example, the objection was, uh, uh, the wine signal was first, um, how, much how, much is it? <laughs> <laughs> how much is it? Okay. okay, so what I'd like you to say, Matthew, is I'd like you to go and ask Rachel, what exactly does she mean by that? Literally ask that. Literally ask that. <laughs> what exactly does she mean by that? Then? And go and ask her, and then you can go and join her team. Because now, Matthew's working with this team, and they're going to come to a resolution. So what exactly was it that you meant by that? Um, well, uh, how much is it going to cost me? How much is it going to cost? Yeah. Because you've got some budget? Yeah. And you were genuinely interested to know? Oh, and I, uh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so <laughs> maybe that's not appropriate. Matt, come this way. I'm going to explain that to you, that's fine. Um, okay, and then the other objection was, we spent, spent all of our budget. So if you could come and ask, what exactly that you meant by that? So what exactly did you mean by that? Well, I meant... Well, it's my way of stopping people asking me that. Yeah, she had no intention. <laughs> 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 right, so, 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 well, I can't, I can't see it as value at the, the value, you don't understand the value, okay? You can answer that, can't you? You can demonstrate the value to him. Yeah. You can introduce him to some companies, you can take the value out of it, real results of the testimonials. Excellent, okay, go and join that team. If somebody said that to me, like, I said, I'm going back in a minute. I would say, but if I could show you the value. Oh, then you'll get joining this team. Because oh. <laughs> the answer is, okay, so again, it's too expensive. So what are you going to say? Uh, I'm going to ask you, uh, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? I'm um, at this moment, our budget is sort of allocated elsewhere. Okay, so if we could schedule payments going forward, then that might make it useful. Possibly. Or we could find a way around that, maybe. Possibly. Okay, so you can go and <laughs> Okay, so it's still too expensive, but there's a fierce intention on the road here. Anyway, let's just see what happens now. If you just pull this way. <laughs> I think you're getting the analogy. The analogy is if you're all on the same side of the road, okay, then it's much easier to negotiate a sale. So a buying signal is someone giving you interest. They're interested in what you have to sell. Uh, what came next? An objection is an invitation to negotiate, which brings us to a close. So you guys, thank you very much. is just the most powerful pose in the world ever. Now we're out of time, so we don't have to do this. <laughs> do you want to see it? Yeah. We don't have to, because we are out of time. We literally have to leave the building in two minutes. So, um, I'd have to be really convinced that you wanted to see this if I was going to give you this thing. We would have Okay. The most powerful pose in the world ever, if you're interested in seeing it, yeah. Yeah. Interested in seeing it is, are you ready? Yeah. This is the pipeline that Phil was talking about, where oh, I've got a million pounds of sales coming in, but actually you haven't. You'll be lucky if you've got a quarter of a million pounds. A lot of us would be very lucky if we had a quarter of a million pounds. Um, but actually, it's much less than that. So, as salespeople, it's down to us to come to a close. And a close is an outcome to this negotiation. Either yes, we can help you, or no, we can't. And it's fine to do that. And the important thing is, so you will say goodbye to a lot of that opportunity that's taking up a lot of your energy. 
Now, the other thing is that when you start taking control of these situations, you start saying no to people, they will wake up and realise that they're missing out on the opportunity that we were talking about here. So, the most powerful clause in the world ever is the word no. No, I can't help you, or no, it's not appropriate at this time. Your prospect will either buck up and get whatever needs to be done done, or they will go away. Either way, it's a close. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Right, here's it. Right. Thank you very much.